Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is morning prayer for Saturday, July the 7th. The scripture for the service, Psalm 144, at Matthew chapter 22, verse 23 to 40. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, blessed are you, my rock, who trains my arms for battle and prepares my hands for war. Alleluia, Psalm 144. Blessed are you, my rock, who trains my arms for battle and who prepares my hands for war. You are my love, my fortress. You are my stronghold, my savior my shield, my place of refuge, who brings people under my rule. What are we that you should care for us, mere mortals that you keep us in mind, creatures who are merely a breath, whose life fades like a shadow? Lower your heavens and come down, and touch the mountains, wreathe them in smoke, flash your lightning and rout the foe, shoot your arrows and put them to flight. Reach down from heaven and save me. Draw me out from the mighty waters, from the hands of alien foes, whose mouths are filled with lies and whose hands are raised in perjury. To you, O God, I will sing a new song. I will play on the ten-string lute. To you who give kings their victory, who set David your servant free. You set him free from the evil sword and rescued him from alien foes whose mouths were filled with lies and whose hands were raised in perjury. Let our sons then flourish like saplings, grown tall and strong from their youth, our daughters graceful as columns, adorned as though for a palace. Let our barns be filled to overflowing with crops of every kind, our sheep increasing by thousands, myriads of sheep in our fields, our cattle heavy with young, no ruined wall, no exile, no sound of weeping in our streets. Happy the people with such blessings. Happy the people whose God is Yahweh. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Blessed are you, my rock, who trains my arms for battle and prepares my hands for war. The lesson is from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 22, beginning at verse 23. The same day some Sadducees came to Jesus, saying, There is no resurrection. And they asked him a question. Teacher, Moses said that if a man dies childless, his brother shall marry the widow and raise up children for his brother. Now there were seven brothers among us. The first married and died childless, leaving the widow to his brother. The second did the same, and so also the third down to the seventh. And last of all, the woman herself died. In the resurrection then, whose wife is she? For all of them had married her. And Jesus answered, You are wrong, because you know neither the scriptures nor the power of God. For in the resurrection they neither marry nor are given in marriage, but are like angels in heaven. And as for the resurrection of the dead, have you not read what was said to you by God? I am the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. He is God not of the dead, but of the living. And when the crowd heard it, they were astounded at his teaching. When the Pharisees heard that he had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together, and one of them, a lawyer, asked him a question to test him. Teacher, which commandment is the greatest? And Jesus said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest and first commandment. And the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. And on these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Here ends the lesson.
Now let us offer our prayers and petitions for the welfare of the church, for Christian unity, for Tom, Alan, Ray, Richard, and Don, and for all of our church leaders and for all clergy and ministers, for Barack and Joe and John, for the leaders of this nation and the nations of the world, that they may bring justice and peace, for the poor and the oppressed, for the hungry, the sick, and the suffering, for those recovering from surgery, especially Bill, for the widowed and the orphaned, for the unemployed and the destitute, especially Robert and Carrie and Bill, for those in prison and those held captive, especially Christian, for the aged and the infirm, especially Marjorie and Ronald Francis, for the intentions of those, or that God who's begun this ministry may bring it to fulfillment, for the mercy of God community, that it may continue to rush toward Christ, for the sisters of St. Francis of Philadelphia, for the intentions of all who asked our prayers and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Let us pray. O God, who created all peoples in your image, we thank you for the wonderful diversity of races and cultures in this world. Enrich our lives by ever-widening circles of fellowship and show us your presence in those who differ most from us until our knowledge of your love is made perfect in our love for all your children. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And may your love be upon us always, O oh, beloved God, as we place all our hope in you. Amen. Alleluia. <laughs>